Hare Krishna. to you from Ecclesiastes, this page that I turned to the other day <clears throat> when I was at Flatbread, talking to the guy there who's seen Esoteric Agenda and <clears throat> was very receptive to uh, the insight that I was sharing with him and uh, talking with him about, uh, and then I opened to this part in Ecclesiastes when I was sitting there about, I was talking about the, we were talking about the ruling Elites, <clears throat> the Elites, the worshippers of El, the Illuminati, the wielders of the light, the Luciferians who project the shadows on the wall for the their sheep people on their global people farm, the planetary plantation, and these oligarchs. Whose symbol is right here on your one dollar bill, your idolatry. tree. This one God in which all are con conditioned to train to trust. Here, here is the light bearers of the Illuminati here. They symbolically, they're at the back of the cave, above and behind the prisoners who are all the bricks. Chained to the wall, the matrix, the womb, the prison for the mind. And these light bearers who own all the media outlets, they project the images on the flat screen, the wall, the theater, the movie theater, or the cave wall, the shadows from the light, the illusions from the reality. This is the psychological operation, the left against the right. They're black against the white, the male against the female, the upper against the lower, rich against poor. They've been running this for our whole history, and they use this here religion as the as the uh, the shadows. This is all the shadows. It's when taken literally. When you read it symbolically, then it's something completely different. Symbolically, and uh, speaking of which, I wanted to show you this before I forget. Revelations ends here in this, the Revelations 22, page 1108, L1108, which was the date of the 2016 election, election of the elect, the selection. You elect those who were selected by the elites, the elites of the Illuminati. 11 times 8, 88. It was on 11, 8, right? And then Trump ended up... Uh, Clinton conceded on, nine, on 11, 9. 9, 11 the other way. Both Clinton and Trump, New York. From New York. 11, 8, 88. Trump equals 88 in Dramatria. As I've watched my uh, Trump equals Donnie Darko bit uh, 88 the number of Hermes Mercury Thoth Mercury the closest to the sun with the 88 day year 88 miles per hour Trump is Biff as Bob Gale author of Back to the Future acknowledged yeah <laughs> I hate just too much right and look what the words two words right underneath 1108 here Come in capital with a capital crescent C and then come C O M E O M me Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes Astros As I said before, this is all astrological, astro theology all theology is astrology. Twelve tribes of Israel of Jacob. Israel, Isis, the moon, Ra, the sun, El, Saturn. The merger of the three cults of the ancient world. Cana, Phoenicia, Palestine, Palestine. 
and then you have the 12 apostles of Jesus, Jesus, the 12 positions, apostles, positions, L, L on the ecliptic, ecliptic. 12 pairs of cranial nerves in your cerebrum, 12 L. Chapter 6, Ecclesiastes. This is specifically to you, Elites of the Illuminati. I see you. I see what you're doing. I know all your tricks, your shadow play. Chapter 6, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. A man to whom God hath given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanteth nothing for his soul of all that he desireth, yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. That this is va this is vanity, and it is an evil, evil disease, disease. If a man beget an hundred children, and live many years, so that the days of his years be many, and his soul be not filled with good, and also that he have no burial, I say that an untimely birth is better than he. For he cometh in vanity, he cometh in with, with vanity, and he departeth in darkness, and his name shall be covered with darkness, illusion. Moreover, he hath not seen the sun, nor known anything. This hath more rest than the other. Yea, though he live a thousand years twice told, yet hath he seen no good, do not all go to one place. All the labor of man is for his mouth, and yet the appetite is not filled. For what hath the wise more than the fool? What hath the poor that knoweth to walk before the living? Better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of the desire. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. That which hath been is named already, and it is known that it is man. Neither may he contend with him that is mightier than he. Seeing there, he may, seeing there be many things that increase vanity, what is man the better? For who knoweth what is good for man in this life, all the days of his vain life which he spendeth as a shadow? For who can tell a man what shall be after him under the sun? Chapter 7 A good name is better than precious ointment. Oh wait, I wanted to do uh, chapter 5. This was, Chapter 5 was the one that I turned to, so let's go to that first. I'm sorry. Chapter 5 was the one that I turned to when I was at, sitting there at uh, Flatbread waiting for the food. And I'd just been talking about the Elites with the guy, the bartender, the guy who works there. Keep thy, f this is chapter 5 of Ecclesiastes. Keep thy foot, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, L. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with thy mouth. And let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be few. For a dream cometh through the multitude of busyness, business. And a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. When thou vowest a vow unto God... Defer not to pay it, for he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow, than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy 
flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that that was that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hands? For in the multitude of dreams and many words there are also divers vanities, diverse vanities, diverse. They spell D I V E R S. Divers vanities. But fear thou God. If thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, marvel, marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there he and there be higher than they. 9. Moreover, the prophet of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the field. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. When goods increase, they are increased that eat them. And what good is there to the owners thereof, saving the beholding of them with their eyes? The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep, because they don't work. The owners, the miserable owners. There is, sore e there is a sore evil which I have seen under the sun, namely riches kept for the owners thereof to their hurt. But those riches perish by evil, travail, and he begetteth a son, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor. You can't take it with you. The Brinks truck does not follow the hearse, as a customer said to me one day, which he may carry away in his hand. He shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. And this also is a sore evil, that in all points as he came, so shall he go. And what profit hath he that hath labored for the wind? All his days also he eateth in darkness, and he hath much sorrow and wrath with his sickness. Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor, that he hath take that he he taketh under the sun all the days of his life which God giveth him, for it is his portion. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof, and to take his portion, and to rejoice in his labor, for this is the gift of God. Theodore, gift of God, Dorothy. For he shall not much remember the days of his life, because God answereth him in the joy of his heart. That's the end of chapter 5. The Book of Allegory. Not literal, not a literal book. The Binding Spine. The Parallel Pair of L's. L... L, K, L, Kalel, Jurel. The Wars of the Stars. Genesis, Genetics, Eugenics, the Genes of the Goddess Isis. The first book of Mars, Moses, Mamisus. Genesis is your birth, your begetting, your genetics, your binding spine that holds it all together. The Holy Bible. The pair of bulls, and then the revelations of death when the book closes. It's the open of genetics, the birth, to the close, closing, the sea losing, 
of raviolations.